Hello and welcome to another GCSE economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will focus on analysing factors that affect exchange rates. The demand for pounds comes from people and firms overseas who want to buy UK goods and services. This includes those people who come on holidays and purchase things while they're here. It also includes people who want to invest in UK bank accounts to earn interest, invest in the UK, for example, as a foreign producer setting up a UK factory, or speculate that the value of the pound will rise in the future. An increase in demand for UK goods and services may arise if UK goods are seen as desirable because they gain a reputation for good quality. If the UK is able to improve worker productivity, or if it has lower inflation than other countries, both of these could help UK firms to reduce costs and allow them to have lower prices. This should increase demand for their goods overseas now that they're more competitive on price. If average incomes in countries that we trade with increase, then those people will have more to spend and this may mean greater demand for the goods the UK exports. Any increase in demand for UK goods will also mean an increase in demand for the pound which will be needed to purchase these goods. If interest rates in the UK are higher than they are in other countries, then people in those other countries may wish to buy pounds in order to save in UK banks where they can earn more interest. If the UK reduces corporate taxes so that firms keep more of their profits, they may be able to attract more international investment. If the UK is able to improve worker productivity, then firms can expect lower average costs, and this also may help to attract more firms to invest in the UK. If firms wish to invest further in the UK, they'll need to buy British pounds to do so. Some people speculate or gamble on the way a currency might move. If people think the currency will appreciate in the future, they may buy that currency now so that they can earn a profit when it rises in value. The people who supply pounds are people and firms in the UK who want to buy foreign goods and services or take a trip over to a foreign country and spend money while they're there, invest in foreign bank accounts to earn interest, invest in foreign countries such as when a UK producer sets up an overseas factory, or speculate that the value of the pound will fall against another currency. An increase in demand for imported goods might come about if imported goods are seen as more desirable because they've got a reputation for being better quality. If foreign countries improve worker productivity or have lower inflation than the UK, these could reduce costs and allow for lower prices, meaning greater demand for those products in the UK. If average incomes in the UK increase, people have more to spend and this may include greater demand for foreign imports. If more imports are purchased, then people will need to sell more pounds in order to buy the currencies of those imports to purchase those goods. If interest rates in the UK are lower than in other countries, then people in the UK may want to sell pounds and buy other currencies so they can save in foreign banks where they can earn more interest. If foreign countries reduce their corporate tax rates so that firms keep more of their profits, it may attract more UK firms to invest there. If the foreign workers become more productive, then firms can expect lower average costs in those countries, and this may attract more UK firms to invest there. Many UK firms invest in other countries around the world, such as Tesco, which has locations in over 10 countries. If speculators were to think that the pound might depreciate in the future against the US dollar, they may seek to buy the US dollar now so that when it does depreciate, they can transfer it back and they can reap the benefits as profit. That brings us to the end of this video, analyzing the factors that affect exchange rates. Join me in the next video when we'll be evaluating the effects of exchange rates on producers and consumers. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.